Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. So perhaps you're building a budget gaming rig, and perhaps you've heard about this right here, Intel's G3258 Pentium Anniversary Edition Unlocked Dual Core Processor for 75 bucks. Well, Asus is ready to help you get your budget gaming on and has released some new BIOSes that could help you save a few bucks on your system so you can turn around and spend all of that money on the almighty Lord Gaben's Steam sale. Okay, so back to the CPU for a bit. It's kind of amazing. It's a fantastic overclocking chip. When playing games, many of which are not heavily threaded, you will be able to get performance near the top end CPUs. I mean, if you saw my video on the CPU, you would have seen that, for example, on Bioshock Infinite, this chip clocked up to 4.7 gigahertz, was able to get about 94% of the performance of a 4790K. That is one amazing value from a processor that is less than one quarter the price. But in order to get all that budget gaming performance, you would have needed a Z87 or Z90 motherboard and it would have required a board costing over $120, more than the CPU by a significant margin. So for those of you making cardboard ghetto rigs, you might be looking for a way to save. Well, Asus is here and has come to the rescue. They've gone ahead and unlocked overclocking on non-Z series motherboards. There are new UEFI BIOSes for H87, H97, B85, and HE81 series motherboards that enable support for overclocking. All you gotta do is head to the support page for the motherboard and download the update. They even say right in the update, support Intel Pentium Anniversary Edition CPU. Despite rumors otherwise, ASUS actually did this on their own with no involvement from Intel. So this right here is a B85MG, and this comes in at a price point of 90 bucks. Think of all the Cheetos and Mountain Dew that you can get for the $30 you just saved. But this is just one of many boards getting an updated BIOS, and you can get some as low as $67, such as the 881MA. Oh, and one small catch. This overclocking, though, is multiplier only, so you'll get less granular control. But hey, free overclocking is still overclocking. So for those of you on a budget, Asus has got your back and keep your ear to the ground because there might be some other motherboard manufacturers working on this as well. But that's basically it. You can get a cheaper board now and still overclock your value processor and you can get more gaming performance by like putting them together. Not quite like this. There are, there are guides for how to actually put a CPU in a motherboard. That wasn't it. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Comment below. Let us know if your body is ready for inexpensive Intel overclocking for the first time in a couple of generations. Like the video if you liked it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this one.